Good morning. On behalf of the state of Colorado and the city of Denver, thank you for attending today's luncheon to learn more about the highly anticipated Clifford Still Museum. We are fortunate to welcome this amazing collection to Colorado later this year. Now today is a significant day for the city of Denver. Seven years ago, uh, with a group of civic leaders, I visited with the widow of Clifford Still, uh, his late wife Patricia, and promised her that Denver would carry out her husband's wishes to build a home for his work and to ensure the, the physical, not just survival, but the, the, the maintaining the excellence of condition of really what is an American treasure. Later that same year, Denver announced it would build a museum for what some would argue is the most sought after, and certainly it is the most intriguing, abstract expressionist art collection in the world. Uh, this November, we're going to reach the final phase in our project when we actually, finally, open the new Clifford Still Museum. The Still Collection is of tremendous international importance, and its presence in Denver, it only amplifies our, our growing sense of how important arts are to our community. The opening of this museum and its collection will be on view for the first time in over 25 years. It's, it's going to overnight help make Denver a, a destination for those who are interested in 20th century art, as well as our cultural followers from around the globe. Now, in addition, the Mile High City is also home to a number of other cultural attractions. We have the second largest performing arts center in the nation with over 10 venues and uh, over 10,000 seats. Uh, we're in the process of building a new symphony hall to complement our recently opened Ellie Calkins Opera House. And when you go from, from the spectacular Denver Art Museum with the new wing designed by Danielle Leipskin to the new Museum of Contemporary Art, from the exciting art gallery scene in Denver, Boulder, and Aspen to exciting festivals of music and film in places like Vail and Telluride and Steamboat Springs, Denver and Colorado are truly becoming art and cultural destinations. So thank you so much for coming today's lunch to celebrate this wonderful addition to the international arts community. I'm only too sorry I can't be there uh, in person. Uh, we hope each of you are going to find a way to make it out west sometime this November to experience for yourself the brilliance of one of, I think, America's greatest modern artists, Clifford Still. Have a great day.